praise the Lord, God's children, because this is a day that the Lord has made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. Welcome to In the Master's Hands, coming to you live from Pakistan with Elder Anyat Mashi. Let's say hello to Brother uh, Mashi right now, shall we? Hang on, let me call him and see if I can get him here. <laughs> I'm sure I can. Here we go. <laughs> Answer, answer, answer. Hello? Good morning. Good afternoon. <laughs> Hi, how are you? We're on the air. I didn't realize once again, here we are, that me and my daylight savings, I couldn't, didn't figure it out. And I thought, 8.05? Oh, daylight savings. <laughs> so now I'm on track again. <laughs> so it was... Uh, your father ready? Uh, yeah, my dear sister. Oh, uh, there you are. I am, uh, but by the grace of Lord, I am here. Good. And uh, just I am uh, 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 ready by the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Okay, well, so, I'm going to just... Uh, the soldier, because the soldier of God should be the ready. Uh, uh, to defeat the enemy every time. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, <laughs> is right. <laughs> so, hallelujah. Thanks, Lord. I am here. And uh, I would like to, first of all, we will pray. Yes. And uh, then uh, uh, we will share the mess. Yes. Perfect. Amen. That's perfect. Let's pray. Father, we just come into your precious presence right yeah. now and turn this prayer time into a rejoicing celebration for the Word of God to come forth and re greet your people. Lord, we thank you for the hearts and the minds that are going to be changed today in the betterment of their lives for you in Jesus' name. And we thank you that they accept Jesus as Lord and Savior and that this message is so timely and so wonderful and that it reaches out to everyone that hears it. And Lord, I just thank you for my brother Ayat and his family, and I thank you that you have given them a heart to spread the Word of God. Lord, you are so wonderful. They are so wonderful. And I thank you, Lord, as we go forward today. Your words are his words. His words are yours. In Amen. Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Okay. Well, we're ready when you are. Just begin. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. uh, may I start now? Yes, yes. Please do. Please. Mm-hmm. Yes, hallelujah, hallelujah. My uh, my dear brothers, my sisters, good morning to you. And I am so thankful to the Lord that uh, this time, while I am in the presence of Lord and uh, this message, uh, this that is the light of the God. And it is a blessing for us that while we, uh, we read, while we, we uh, uh, while listen, so many blessings we receive, and uh, all the blessings that are the countless we receive from the God. So therefore, I think that this day that is uh, granted to us by the grace of Lord may be very blessed. And while we are listening the word of Lord. As it is prayed by, by my dear sister uh, Stephanie, uh, so that uh, this time, while we are, will listen the message, while we listen the uh, voice of the Lord. Oh, hallelujah! It is my humble prayer that uh, the word of God broke, breaks everything. Mm -hmm. So this time. Our, our stony heart may also be melted just like uh, the candle. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. So that we receive the light of the God in our heart. So, uh, today's message, I want to share my dear brother, my sisters, and my children who are listening this time. Hallelujah. All want to teach us 
so that we keep in our mind how many blessings we receive every day from the God. So therefore, in Romans chapter 12, he wants to teach us. So therefore, let us uh, read with me and listen the word of Lord so that we may consider and we may think and keep in our uh, mind that how, at what stage we are and what blessing is given to me and how I have to use it. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. So, my dear brother, here I, I, I want to read. I beseech you, brethren, therefore, uh, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable to God, which is your possible service. Hallelujah. I read the first verse, chapter 12. So therefore, we see here that, that the uh, great preacher of the Lord, Paul, once he was not the preacher, he was the tortured person, and he tortured the believers of the Jesus Christ. But we see that the day came when he changed, when God changed him, and he changed, he became a changed person. Hallelujah. And just he is requesting in this verse that we have to sacrifice our body just like that will be light by God. Hallelujah. No, uh, God, no, uh, God needs no any sacrifice. No any sacrifice as, as we can see in Psalm uh, 54, 55, where we can see that the broken heart is the light uh, sacrifice before the God. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. And uh, and he says that we have not, just like the, uh, uh, just like the common man, who are the sons of devils. So therefore, we have to avoid from the devil uh, these devil deeds, and we have to change ourselves uh, while we are the believers of God. And we have to know about the perfect will of the Lord. I mean, so my dear, as we see that he was a great teacher of the Lord, and he said that what senses are given to me that I have learned to become the smaller, because it is said that he who wants to be uh, big, he, he should be smaller. So therefore, we have to learn today ourselves that we do not understand to ourselves just like, as uh, he said, not larger, not bigger, not superior, but we have to just like a body and we see that in our body so many limbs are there so many limbs there are hands fingers feet and uh, eyes face and uh, stomach uh, uh, head, uh, mind, uh, heart, uh, so many limbs. But we see some are small, some are big. But every limb has its own task. And that is his, his task and uh, he has to do. But what is uh, the given the task to do him? And, uh, uh, and then the body makes perfect. And our body does anything. So therefore, my dear here, Paul will want to teach us by the grace of the Lord uh, that we we have to be just like one in Jesus Christ. 
right? Because we are nothing at all. We can't do anything without the Holy Spirit. So as we are given the fruits, as we are given things, services, we have to uh, use it just like the true believers of the cause. So here uh, we can see uh, in verse 2, and do not be transformed to this world, but be transformed by the uh, renewing of your mind. Hallelujah. That you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Hallelujah. My dear, we have to know, we have to be judged that the perfect will of the God, so that we should be obeyed, obedient to the will of God. And what I say, through the peace and uh, grace given to me, to everyone who is am among you, not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think, but to soberly, as God has dealt to each one a measure of faith. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. What, what a wonderful word of Lord. And we have to make ourselves, we have to use ourselves just like it is there, not overflowing, but as we are giving. Each one of us, we are just, we are giving the measure of faith. But as we have many members in one body, but all the members do not have the same function. So we, being many, are one body in Christ. I mean, and individually, members of one and other. So my dear, all these are the gifts. All the blessings of uh, here what are uh, described in this message. So we have to know about them that if I am I am also gifted a blessing, so how I have to use it? So here, uh, first of all, we see here, uh, uh, in, in, uh, first of all, we will see uh, in verse uh, mm, uh, 7, our mystery, let us use it, our mystery, he who teaches in teaching. But when we see in verse 6, having learned then give uh, different according to the grace that is given to us, let us use them. A prophecy. First of all, it is a described about the prophecy. My dear, when we, we receive the blessing of prophecy, May we receive the uh, uh, blessing of prophecy by our knowledge? Oh, no. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, only the Lord, our good Lord, can, can uh, bless us with the prophecy services. Prophecy a blessing. So therefore, we have to use our prophecy for uh, giving the uh, blessing of language, so therefore we should use our languages uh, just for the knowledge, for the uh, blessing of the other uh, church members, hallelujah, so that may understand and, and we are uh, to uh, pray to God that God, God gave us to translate about them, so that the, all the uh, uh, of what we talk all a brother can understand. Hallelujah. And uh, then uh, again uh, we see, again we see here, uh, the please, and here we see that what services are given to us. Uh, sorry, please, just one minute. Yes, yes, Mr. Yes, sir. Yes, we will, we will see 2 Timothy. 2 Timothy, 
second Timothy. And uh, chapter 1. Second Timothy, chapter 1 and verse 6. Here we can see, therefore, I remind you to stir up the gift of God, which is in you, through the laying on of my hand. For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and uh, of a uh, sound mind. So, uh, my dear, while, while we are listening, we have to know that what gift is given, what blessing is given to us, we have to shine that that blessing. So that the other, that the, the light of the word of Lord shine on the others. So my dear, here we can see so many, a long list of the blessing. So therefore, according to all these blessings, we shall discuss about them. So just as here Paul says that we have to lift our service which are gifted to us to shine upon the others. And if are we, if are um, uh, given the blessing of uh, teacher, as it is, uh, uh, it, as it is said, that if we are just like serving the uh, uh, others, just like a teacher, just as the Bible uh, in the Bible college. Just as the school, so how our services should be. So, my dear, the word of God says that we have to use our service with our nationally and so that whatever we we preach, whatever to teach our students may be fruitful in every way. Hallelujah. And if we are the advisor, we are giving the blessing of uh, advising. So, my my dear, here we can see that uh, uh, we have to uh, do as the word of God says in Matthew chapter 6. Hallelujah. Matthew chapter 6, we will see verse 1 to 4. Take heed that you do not your uh... hello hello well it looks like we've lost uh, the the feed here just a second while I I call him back. All right, let's see if I, are you, give me a second, folks, we're working on it, yes, okay, let's see, let me, all right, now let me call, no, not connecting, we'll give it another couple of minutes, this happens all the time with our power in Pakistan, it's not something we enjoy, appreciate, but you know, while I have you here, I just want to let you know that um, if you're interested in uh, ministry at all, you can always come and uh, contact us. We are a healing school of ministry. In other words, we teach you all about healing, but we also teach you all the curriculum that you need to become ordained as a minister of the gospel. <clears throat> we ordain you and send you out. Um, so if you're interested in that and you're, you're called into the five-fold ministry or into missionary work, well, you just contact us and we'll talk to you and be glad to send you some information. Here we go. Sounds like I can answer this. Hello. <laughs> Hi. Whoops, wait a minute. There we go. All right. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. Therefore, I was... Uh, uh, I was uh, uh, telling that uh, if we are giving the uh, uh, blessing of the uh, 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 charity 
and we are in a state that uh, we can help the other, but we have not to be uh, uh, give the charity just like oh, hypocrisy before men to seen by them. Otherwise, you will have no reward from your father in the heaven. And in verse second, we see therefore when you do a uh, a uh, charitable deed do not sound a trump before you as the hypocrites do in the synagogue and in the street that they may have glory uh, from the men and uh, surely I say to you that they uh, that they have their reward but when you do a charitable deed, do not let your left hand know what you right hand is doing. That your charitable deed may be in secret. Hallelujah. So my dear, here is a very good advice. If we are the uh, advisor, so therefore we have to preach, we have to teach that we have to do just like as the word of God says. And we, we can here uh, learn that it is said that, that uh, your charitable deeds may be in secret. Hallelujah. And your father who sees in secret will himself reward you openly. I mean, so my dear, we have to believe, we have to obey the word of God if we want uh, to receive the uh, gifts of blessing from the Lord. So we have to uh, keep in our mind. I mean, mm -hmm. and we, uh, in the same way we see in Matthew chapter 5, uh, chapter 5, we are, my dear, we are learning about the blessing and whatever blessing is given to us we have to use so therefore today this is a message that we have to learn what Paul want to teach us that so many blessings if are we are rewarded so we have to use them in a in, in a right way so that they are be acceptable in the presence of Lord I mean so therefore Matthew chapter 5 Hallelujah. And verse we will see 38. 38 to 42. You have heard that it was said, an eye for an eye, and a truth for a truth, but I tell you not to resist an evil person. But whoever slaps you, on your right cheek, turn the other to him also. Oh, it is very difficult, my dear. Uh, very, very difficult. Uh, <laughs> but whoever slaps you, it is very <laughs> difficult if someone slaps us, what will we do? But my dear, it is the advice. And this is advice is not for the man. But this advice is from the Lord. And now, while we are preacher, while we are preaching, we are uh, the advisor of the God, of the God for, to the men. So therefore, we have to teach. We have to uh, teach the men so that they also uh, learn and uh, 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 practice, just like it is uh, commanded. So, my dear, it is said. So. As we see uh, in verse 40, if anyone want to uh, sue uh, you and take away your uh, tunic, let him have your cloak also. And whoever uh, compels you to go one mile, go with him to give to him who asks you, and from him who wants to borrow from. You do not turn away. Hallelujah. So my dear, 
long as it is, it is discussed. Hallelujah. But we have to think that as, as if we are that wiser. If God has gifted us to give the advice to others. So therefore we have uh, to use just language, just things, so that the other may learn and uh, uh, be blessed in this way. And now I want to uh, I want to uh, go ahead. Uh, here we see in uh, Titus. Titus chapter 1. Titus chapter 1 and verse 5 to 9. Here we see, for this reason I left you in Crete, that you should set in order the things that are lacking and uh, appoint elders in every city as I command you. Hallelujah. If I if a man is blameless, the husband of one wife, having faithful children, not accused of a dissipation of insubordination, for a, a bishop must be blameless as a steward of God, not self-willed, not quick-tempered, not given to wine, not violent, not uh, greedy for money. So therefore, uh, my dear here, uh, this is the this is for the blessings. If we are given uh, given the blessings of the preacher, so we have to just like as, as the uh, will of Lord, as the word of God teaches us. I mean, and now Colossians. Colossians chapter 1. Colossians chapter 1, verse 9. And we see till 19. For this reason, we also, since that day, we heard it, do not cease to pray for you and to ask that you may be filled with the knowledge of his will in all wisdom and spiritual understanding that you may walk worthy of the Lord fully pleasing him being fruitful in every good work and in increasing uh, in the knowledge of God strengthened with all might according to his glorious power for all patience and long suffering with joy, giving thanks to the Father who has qualified us to be partaker of the inheritance of the saints in the light. Hallelujah. He has delivered us from the power of darkness and conveyed us into the kingdom of the Son of His love. I mean, hallelujah, my dear. Thanks, Lord, for this gift, in, in whom we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins. All these are the gifts for the believers. He is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn over all creation. For by him all things were created that are in heaven and that are on earth, visible and invisible, whether thrones or uh, dominions or principalities or powers, all things were created through him and for him, and he is before all things, and in him all things consist. And he is the head of the body, the church, who is the beginning, the firstborn, from the dead, that in all things he may have the, hallelujah, preeminence, uh, I mean. So my dear, while we are uh, in this 
the part of the, the body of Jesus Christ. So therefore, it is the blessing of God. Hallelujah. And all these gifts are for me, for you, and for everybody who is in Jesus Christ, who has repented from his sin, who is reborn, and he has gifted the Holy Spirit. So my dear, just as Paul says, we, we are the, of course, live the body of Jesus Christ. Therefore, whatever blessing we are given, we, we have to be uh, as the word of God teaches us. And now we will go ahead and we will see the next blessing. Hallelujah. The blessings of merciful. We should be merciful if we are blessed person. And we will see Luke chapter 10. And we can see an example. Luke chapter 10. And uh, verse we will see 25. Hallelujah. And behold... A certain lad stood up and tested him, saying, Teacher, what shall I do to inherit eternal life? He said to him, What is written in the law? What is your uh, what is your reading of it? So he answered and said, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your strength, and with all your mind and your neighbor and yourself. My dear, it is an example. And this example teaches us that how we should be also merciful. As God is very, very merciful upon all over the world. world. And he said to him, you have answered rightly, do this and you will live. But he, wanting to justify himself, that to Jesus and who is my neighbor? Then Jesus answered and said, A certain man went down from Jerusalem to Jericho and fell among thieves who stripped him of his clothing, wounded him, and uh, deported, leaving him half dead. Oh, very sad. Now, <coughs> sorry, by chance, a certain priest came down and at that road. And when he saw him, he passed by on the other side. Likewise, a uh, uh, Levite, when uh, he arrived at the place, came and looked and passed, away, passed by on the other side. Oh, very sad. But a certain Samarit, as he journeyed, came where he was. And when he saw him, he had uh, compassion. So he went to him and bandaged him bones, pouring on oil and wine, and he uh, set him on his own animal, brought him to an inn, and took care of him. On the next day when he uh, departed and uh, he took out two uh, uh, dinars, dinars gave uh, them to the innkeeper and said to him, take care of him. And whatever more you spend, I come again and I will repay you. Here my, see, uh, my dear, we see an example of, of a man who was suffered, who was uh, fell uh, among the uh, robbers and they uh, um, uh, crushed him, wounded him, but we see three person came there. And uh, the first two came, and they were the priest, but they went away. But the third man, who was Samriyat, came, and he took him into the inn. And uh, uh, he treated as he can uh, do. So, my dear, we can see here, as, as it is very good example, we uh, see here that... Uh, um, who was a very, very good neighbor to him. So, my dear, if we are given the blessing,
saying of to be merciful so therefore we should be merciful such upon all all the persons who are suffered in uh, some uh, same uh, situation i mean <coughs> so my uh, uh, dear brothers and sisters who are listening to me the topic is very long but i want to share with you some main points here that we have to be love in our brothers and we can see it in Corinthians chapter 13 and Matthew chapter 5 and we can see in Matthew chapter 5 hallelujah about the love of Jesus Christ Matthew chapter 5 and uh, verse 43 here we can see you have heard that it was said you shall love your neighbor and hate your enemy but I say to you Love your enemies, bless those who curse you, do good to those who hate you, and pray for those who spitefully use you and persecute you. Oh, hallelujah! That you may be sons of your Father in heaven, for he makes his son rise on the evil and on the good, and send his rain on the dust and on the unjust. So my dear brothers, here we can see that uh, how if we are given the blessings of love, so we have not to love not only for those persons who love us. As it said that we have to love other people who are in critical situation and they, even they are our enemy. I mean, so therefore, the word of God teaches us and we have to be most obedient and most faithful to the words of Lord, uh, keeping in, in, in our mind. Hallelujah. Verse 45 says that you may the son of your father in heaven, for he makes his son rise on the evil and the good, and sends rain on the dust and on the unjust. For if, if you love those who love you, what reward you have? Do not even the test characters do it same. And if you greet your brethren only, what do you do? More than others do not even the test character do the same. Therefore, you shall be perfect just as your father in heaven is perfect. I mean, so my dear uh, brothers, my sisters and all who are listening this time, I want to say that uh, the word of the words of God is the light for us. So therefore, we should shine ourselves from the light of Jesus Christ. And while we will have the light of the Jesus Christ in our bodies, then the blessing what are given to us, we will use them uh, for the others so that our light lit the other persons also. I mean, and now, other thing, I, I, I would like to finish my message uh, for uh, 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 this statement that uh, we have to uh, respect the others more than ourselves, more than our relatives, more than our um, family. So therefore, as as it is said that we should hate the evil ways and we should love just like brother Anna love, brother love. So therefore, my dears, today we are very, very thankful for the blessed message and we will uh, uh, read uh, about it that how we can hate the evil ways. Second, uh, Second Timothy, Second Timothy and Chapter Two. Chapter Two, and we shall see verse twenty to twenty six. Twenty twenty. Yes, but 
not in great holes. There are not only vessels of gold and silver, but also of gold and clay, some for honor and some for dishonor. Therefore, if anyone uh, cleanses himself from the latter, he will be vessel for honor, sanctified and useful for the master, prepared for every good work. Flee also youthful, lustrous, but uh, pursue righteousness, faith, love, peace with those who call on the God out of pure heart. But avoid, my dear, this this is the word of Lord, and we should hear the uh, evil ways, as it is said. But avoid foolish and ignorant disputes, knowing that they uh, generate the drive. And a servant of the Lord must not quarrel, but as gentle to all able by teach patient. I mean, and um, and how we can love our uh, other person and uh, for the love as we can see before but uh, uh, this thing i want to read with you uh, luke chapter 6 luke chapter 6 and verse 27 27 verse teaches us Hallelujah. Woe to you when all men speak well of you, for so did their fathers to the false prophets. But I say to you, who oh, here love your enemies, do go to those who hate you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, my dear, this is the word of Lord. And sometime if some person hate us but we said we are the blessed person and if we are giving the blessings of love so we have to return with love to them mm -hmm. not with evil not should hate with them mm -hmm. as it is said but i say to you who here love your enemies do good to those who hate you hallelujah mm -hmm. My Amen. dear brothers, the word of Lord is for me, for you, for all over the world who are listening. And I am so thankful that this message was given to me by God. And I am also uh, bounded to the this message also because I have to be believed, because I have to follow. But I want to teach because it is the gift of God. And if the gift of God is given to us, we have to share to the other, so that the other may learn and uh, liked by the God, as Paul said, so that he, he requested to all of us that even he was the great teacher of the God, that we have to sacrifice ourselves as liked by God. And, and we have not to be just like the sons of the devil, just like the people are living their lives in the world, but we have to know the will of Lord. I mean, God bless you all. And now I want to pray with you so that whatever we have listened, this message be blessed for us so that uh, we have to change ourselves. If we are given the blessing, so that we use these blessings for the glory of God. Amen. God bless you all. And now we will pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, our Heavenly Father, we are so thankful for this message. You gave us to gave us everyone, everyone. And I am so thankful that you encouraged me to convey the message of God. What I was said in the Roman chapter 12 about all the blessings that are given to us, gifted to us. So we have to share these gifts to others so that the word of Lord, the words of God may share to the other people and they also change their life. So my, uh, oh hallelujah, oh hallelujah, my 
Father, I request you that this message be blessed in every way for all the persons who have listened this time and we change our lives so that we are liked by you. Hallelujah. Just like the Son of God. Amen. God bless you all, my dear. Thank you. Amen. In the name of my dear sister. Amen. Thank you. Thank you for sharing that. It's a wonderful message, and that was just great. I enjoyed it, and I know that our listeners will, too. Now, folks, remember that you can reach Elder Anyat Mashi by email at E-L-D-E-R-I-N-A-Y-A-T-M-A-S-I-H at yahoo.com. That's Elder Anyat Mashi at yahoo.com, or through his son, Evangelist Nasser Javed, E-V-G dot N-A-S-I-R underscore J-A-V-I-D at yahoo.com. Um, that was just a tremendous message, and I just uh, was very moved by it. I, I thought it was wonderful, and that prayer uh, was great, too. I my dear sister, this is all the, uh, by your prayers and uh, all the gifts of the Holy Spirit, mm -hmm. because whatever uh, yeah, was given to me, hallelujah, I am so thankful to God that God gave me, <laughs> encouraged me, and I conveyed, uh, I, I conveyed the message by mm -hmm. the help of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I am nothing else. Yes. I mean. I understand. I understand what you mean. Sowed the seed. Mm -hmm. I have sowed the seed yes. of the blessing. So I, I am fully hopeful mm -hmm. that this uh, uh, seed will grow and it will make a plant and it will be fruitful in the Amen. name of Jesus Amen. Amen. It will. Amen. Um, well, let me remind you all that you can hear Elder Ainat Mashi streaming live directly from Pakistan every Monday at 7 a.m. Pacific time. I'm, I'm bad because of my, I forget about daylight savings. <laughs> so it's 7 o'clock in the morning uh, Pacific Standard Time, which is 8 p.m. in your Pakistani time zone. Um, you can tune in right here on Spreaker.com. And if you miss the broadcast, don't worry. We archive all of Brother Ainat's broadcasts on our website, themasterstouchhs.org. That's themasterstouchhs.org. And you'll find them under In the Master's Hands on the navigation bar. And also you can find them on YouTube. So everyone's welcome to join us. And um, uh, my brother, do you have anything more you want to add before I close the program? Uh, yes, my dear sister, uh, by the grace of Lord, mm -hmm. according to the will of Lord, and uh, I, I, I am fully hopeful that by your prayers, uh, second Monday, uh, the message that is gifted to me just now, uh, Colossians chapter 1 and verse 10. Okay. This will be the topic. As, as here we see, uh, perfect will of Lord. Oh, good. Okay. That you may walk worthy of the Lord, fully pleasing Him, mm. being fruitful in every good work and increasing uh, in the knowledge of God. Oh, love it. That's so going to be great. This will be the topic. We'll see in chapter 1 and verse 10. Wonderful. And uh, yes, thank you. Uh -huh. Oh, well, you didn't have to stop. I just wasn't uh -huh. commenting. <laughs> yes, my dear sister. Mm -hmm. uh, because we, we are the humble servant of God and we have to do the work in His field, and uh, uh, the God field should be fruitful in every way. Hallelujah. You know, that's so true. And uh Oh, many, many places in the Bible show us that uh, God intended that everyone, everything that he even created is fruitful. It is designed to be fruitful. And if it isn't, he prunes it and gets it out of the way. <laughs> so we want it. That'll be a timely message. And I can't hardly wait. Right now, remember, folks, Proverbs 4, verse 7 tells us that wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom, and in all of your getting, get understanding. You know, that's exactly what we're doing here, my friends. We're gaining God's wisdom. So be sure to keep Jesus Lord of your life.
In the Master's Hands is a subsidiary of the Master's Hands uh, Master's Touch Healing School of Ministry International, and a, we're a 501c3 organization. Please continue to pray for Brother Ainyat, his family, their ministries, and for the nation of Pakistan and its people. God bless you all.